Hi, and welcome to this video. I'm Wout, I'm a master's student, and in this video I'll tell you everything about the Bachelor in Linguistics at Leiden University. Let's start with the most important question. What is linguistics? Linguistics is the scientific study of human language. And you might think, language, can you really fill an entire study program about language? But there might be more to language than you think. When I just say a word like apple pie, you think I'm not really doing much, but I'm breathing out air, moving my mouth, lips, tongue, and I'm creating sound waves. You register those, and then you think of an apple pie, but you might even see or smell an apple pie. And that's exactly what language does. It's an efficient way of communicating ideas, thoughts, and memories. In the linguistics program, we look at languages and their structures, we compare languages, and we even discover new ones. Linguistics is a very broad program because there are a lot of different fields within linguistics. For example, what kind of brain regions are activated when I say a word like apple pie? But you can also look at the structure of words. Why is it apple pie in English, but pie apple in that order in different languages? You can also look at how we use language to convey ideas and feelings. Maybe I'm using the word apple pie because it gives you such a pleasant feeling. We also look at different languages that haven't been discovered yet. What is their word for apple pie? Because there are so many different fields, you specialize in one track in your second and third year. You also learn very valuable academic skills, such as reading and writing, academic articles, presenting, and working together in a group. So you now know what language and linguistics is, but why should you study it in Leiden? Most importantly, we have high-level education. Our teachers, who are connected to the Leiden University Center for Linguistics, which is widely renowned um, institution around the world. They are all specialists in their own field of linguistics or of a specific language. We also have the broadest linguistics program in the Netherlands. Two of our specializations can't be studied anywhere else at the bachelor's level in the Netherlands and even in Europe. Our study program is also very multidisciplinary. Language has interactions with sociology, history, archaeology, and even psychology. There's also ample room for personal attention. Because we work with small work groups and there is close contact with the teachers, we can exactly suit your needs. You can also follow your own interests within the study program. Because of these specializations and the many electives that we have, you can exactly study the thing about language that you find interesting. What does the study program look like? The entire program consists of three years, and every year consists of two semesters. The first one running from September until January, and the second one from February to June. In the first semester of the first year, you'll have six mandatory courses. These give you a broad basis within the field of linguistics. You learn about the languages that there are, the sounds that they use, and how these languages are used. You also already learn some very valuable academic skills, namely the reading of academic articles. In the second semester of the first year, you'll again have four mandatory courses, but you can also choose between a lot of preparatory courses. You'll take two. These courses prepare you for the different tracks that we have in the second and third year. You can already learn a bit about the psychology behind language or uh, what words and their meaning have to do with each other. And you can already choose a course about a specific language. For example, the structure of Quechua. In the second year, you'll choose a track. Within a track, there are uh, specific mandatory courses, but also track-bound electives. And you can use this to shape the track in the direction that you want. There are four tracks in Leiden. They are language and cognition, descriptive linguistics, 
comparative in the European linguistics and language in use. This last track is taught partly in Dutch and therefore in order to take it you have to be fluent in the Dutch language. Language and cognition is all about how language works in the brain. What brain regions are active during speech and what happens when those are damaged. Might that cause speech errors, for example? And how do children acquire their language? This track is both experimental but also theoretical. So you learn about the research that has already been done and how you can contribute with your own research. In order to do this, you can use one of our several labs. An example lab is the EEG lab, where you can measure brain activity during speech. In descriptive linguistics, you learn how to describe a non-European language. You learn about the different language structures that we see all around the world, and how you can describe a language using an informant and audio, and how you can create an entire dictionary and grammar of that language. You mostly focus on non-European languages, and they might have structures that you're not very familiar with. Take this example from a Berber language spoken in North Africa. You see that when a female word is turned masculine, all of a sudden the meaning changes. A female regular hood becomes a big hood when it's turned masculine. And you can use this structure in all female words in the language. This is not something you're very familiar with from French or German, for example. In comparative Indo-European linguistics, you learn everything about the Indo-European language family and how languages change over time. The six words that you see on the screen are all translations from the English word mother. And these languages are spoken over quite a large area. You see a Spanish word, Lithuanian, but also a Persian word spoken in Iran, and a Sanskrit word, a language that was once spoken in India. All these words spoken over this large area have something in common, they're all quite similar. And that's not just an accident, because all these languages all stem from the same proto-language, called Proto-Indo-European. And in this track, you learn everything about this proto-language and its descendants. You also focus on three example languages within this family, and they are Old Greek, Sanskrit and Hittite. The fourth track, Language in Use, which is primarily taught in Dutch, is about how people use language to express themselves. We use language to not only communicate ideas, but also part of our identity. By the way that I speak, you might deduce something about my age, uh, my ethnicity, or maybe the opinions that I have about a certain subject. Society also has opinions on language, so that is why certain accents, for example, might disappear because they're not seen as decent, and some standard languages might survive because they have high prestige. In language and use, you also look at how people use language to convince others of their opinion. What kind of argumentation structures do they use, for example? And how do they just choose the right words to convince others that they are right? In the third year of your bachelor, you take more track-specific courses, but you also have ample room for your minor. You can take half a year of credits, uh, of electives, for your minor, which is a preset um, set of courses about a certain subject. You can also do an internship or even study abroad. I, for example, did a minor on sign language. At the end of your third year, you write your thesis in order to show that you've become a real linguist. You come up with an hypothesis, you test it, you analyze data, and then you write it all up. Because I did the cognition track and I had a minor in sign language, I could write my thesis about language development in deaf children. So this is what the entire program looks like, but what does an actual week actually look like? You'll have 14 contact hours on average, 
and they consist of lectures and work groups. During the lecture, the teacher will tell you some information, and during the work group, you'll discuss it further and do some example questions. You also have to self-study. In the end, you'll spend about 14 hours, 40 hours each week on your study, which is about the same as a full-time work week. You're not alone in this process. There's also the mentor and the study advisor that will support you. At the end of each course, you'll um, end the course with either writing a paper, in which you'll do a little study yourself and present your findings, or you have to do a written exam. So, what have you become at the end of the program? Well, you've become a language specialist. You know everything about language and linguistics, and you can think about language with an analytical mind. You can also research complex problems, because language is a very complex structure after all. You've also learned some very valuable academic and general skills. You know how to read academic articles, how to present, but also how to work in groups, and how to think critically about large structures. As a, language, as, a language, as a linguist, you can think critically and in a structured way. And these are all very valuable skills for later. What can you do after the Bachelor in Linguistics? Most of our students continue with a master, and there are plenty of masters to choose from at Leiden University that suit the Bachelor in Linguistics. You can, for example, study a one-year master, and you can learn more about a specific language in the MA Modern Languages, or about the specific subfields of linguistics in the MA Linguistics. You can also study translation. If you're interested as a career as an academic, you can also do the research master, the MA Linguistics Research. So, in what fields do our graduates end up? A lot of our graduates end up in research and in education. But we also have some graduates who work in IT, in communications and marketing, or for governmental institutions. Here are some example positions of our graduates. Some people work as a communications officer at Brill Publishers. We have graduates who work as translators or as a consultant. And some of our graduates are now doing a PhD at a university. Finding a job is actually quite easy. 85% of our graduates find a job within two months after graduation, and 85% of those are even at an academic level. You now know everything about the Bachelor in Linguistics, but the most important question is, of course, is this the right program for you? In order to find out, ask yourself the following questions. First and foremost, are you fascinated by language? Do you want to know everything about language and linguistics and all the linguistic structures that there are? Secondly, would you like to explore and solve complicated questions? Language is a very complicated structure, after all. Thirdly, don't you mind the challenge of reading complex scientific articles? And do you thrive in an international environment? Do you have a good command of English? If you can answer all these questions with yes, then linguistics might be the perfect program for you. Do you want to study linguistics in Leiden? Then the following admission requirements apply. First of all, you need a diploma at a pre-university level. For Dutch students, this either means a VWO diploma, or a propedeutic or final diploma from a university, or a University of Applied Sciences. If you're an international student, please visit our website for what exact diplomas you need. Also keep in mind that you might need to do an English language test. Besides English, you don't need to speak any other language to study linguistics. When you've signed up for the program, you'll receive an invitation to the matching module, which is a way for you to find out if linguistics really suits you. You get to watch a couple of videos, answer some questions, and talk about your motivation to study linguistics. You also receive some advice from us. This advice is non-binding. The following deadlines apply. 
you can sign up for the program from October onwards via StudiLink. You have until the 1st of April for non-EU students and until the 1st of May for EU students. You will also receive the invitation to the matching module from February onwards. Please finish this as soon as possible so you know whether you can start studying linguistics. You're not alone during your study. You can receive study advice and advice about the study progress at the pop corner. You can also get advice from study advisors, student psychologists and student counsellors. And there's also support for students with a disability. For questions about diversity and inclusion, you can contact the DNI Student Network. Are you interested in the programme and do you want to find more information? Then you can come to one of our information events. You can come to the Open Day, where you can watch um, presentations of different programmes and ask questions to current students. You can also participate in an Experience Day, where, together with other prospective students, you visit a sample lecture and do some homework. You can also come to a Student for a Day event, where together with first-year students, you have a real first day at the university. You can also always do the online experience, where you watch some sample lectures and answer some interesting questions. If you have any questions, you can also always chat with the students via the website. If you want to know more information, you can visit our website via the link on the screen. I would like to thank you for your attention and I hope to see you soon at Leiden University.